Hi, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of DNN Sharp. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a registration workflow using um, our Redirect Toolkit module. And I will do this on a real example. So we take out a checkout process. It starts on a checkout page and then the system needs to make sure that the user is logged in or uh, the user needs to create a new account. And this can actually be a few pages. This can be a process that takes a few pages, like, uh, for example, creating a user account and filling the um, a bank account, maybe, or a credit card information, or um, selecting some preferences. And then going back to the main uh, checkout um, page and complete the process. So if the user was already logged in, he would just uh, go from checkout page to the complete checkout page uh, without all this uh, all the setup. So I will start by creating the pages. This is the checkout page. And on the checkout page, I will place a new redirect toolkit module. And here, I will uh, have the system uh, redirect uh, users to the um, uh, login or the registration page. So the, in, under condition, I will say if the user is not uh, is not uh, a logged in user, is not in our role registered user, so is not a user of the portal, then I will redirect the user to the, let's say, to the registration page. Okay, and at the same time, I will have it save something uh, a value maybe in server session so uh, at a later time we know that the user came from this page so let's say this parameter is called uh, registration source or ref and um, this is actually the key registration ref and the value can be anything maybe um, check out Okay, so now I save this. And now if I go in as a non-logged in user and get it to this page, you see I'm redirected to the register page. And now the session will contain um, the source of the registration, which is the checkout process. Now for the next stage of this uh, process is to is to redirect the user after registration to to a new page where I can uh, determine either the users should complete a registration process or uh, redirect them back to the site or something. Uh, luckily this is very easy to do from uh, admin site settings. There should be a user registration section, user account se settings. And here I can configure uh, that the user should be redirected to a page after registration. So um, I will just create this new page. Pages at new page. And I will call this page registration complete page. This should be visible to registered user because I know they are now registered. Okay, on this page, what we first want to determine is either the user came from the checkout process, and if it, the user did came from the checkout process, maybe redirect them to other pages to complete the setup. Other for other users that maybe just registered on the site without without coming from the checkout process, uh, we don't want them to 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 forward them to fill up the profile. So we'll add another redirect redirect toolkit module here and we will check for the session key we we created so I'll, i will create a new rule that will say um, match by and we'll check the server session 
the direct by server data in the server session the key and we check for the key registration ref and if it equals and you can use e equals ignore case if you're not sure about the capitalization like I am now uh, and we compare it with checkout and if it is like this then we redirect to another page let's say the a page that I'm going to to add I will just open a new window so I don't lose the settings and this new page will be called um, uh, complete profile or let's say complete buyer profile and this should also be visible to registered users okay and now I will go back to the redirect to GitHub and I now I should have this page here but probably I have to refresh so I just save it and I'll edit it again complete buyer profile save and now it's time to test it but uh, I forgot this step so I'll go back to size settings and now that I have the new page I need to to redirect to it after registration so after registration I'll redirect to the registration complete page I will save this and now I'll go and so here I am again uh, in another browser I'm not logged in and I will go to the checkout page the checkout page will redirect me to the registration page here I create a profile let's say this one I will just put in a password and then a username and then I will click register now when I click register I will be redirected to the registration complete page which in turn will determine that I came from the checkout page and it will take me to the uh, complete buyer profile page now if I were to clear my profile and come and register from another source I will not be taken to this page and I will demonstrate this in a second so I'm back to the registration complete page and now what I want to do is to clear this key after the redirection so I can um, so I can test um, without this key okay so clear session variables is selected I'll clear this and save it and now I will do the process once again so it will clear the session on the end so I'll go on the checkout page and fill out a user I'm taken to the complete buyer profile and now I will come in as a user from uh, from uh, uh, directly from the registration workflow now the session should be cleared of that uh, so I will just go and click re register directly and I will create maybe user 008 and then uh, I will register and now you see I'm left on the registration complete page so I no longer uh, am taken to the complete buyer profile page and now what I should do here actually for these users I should uh, take them to the home page or maybe a checkout page so I will just create another rule and in this rule I will say um, lowest priority so it goes below that it's executed the second and I will say redirect always so I'll redirect all the user to the page getting started or a welcome page I will save this so now you see I have uh, two rules in this module the first one will match uh, the server session variable and the redirect user to the complete buyer page and the second rule will uh, always redirect the users to the getting st started page so the users that are not affected by the first rule will be affected by the second rule 
And now it's uh, just enough to go in this other browser and just uh, refresh this page and I should be taken to the getting started page. That's all. And remember, this is just an example. So you will have a workflow that's, that has multiple ramifications and maybe you'll want to, to represent it graphically so you know all the paths and can uh, check at any point uh, that um, the workflow is following the, the, the pattern you designed. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for your time.